Today I want to show you how to run Huyuan Video 1.5 on my 8GB of VRAM. First, you just go to ComfyUI website uh, under Huyuan Video 1.5. If you go down here, you will find the workflow here. I have downloaded the image to video. The model, you can find them on Hugging Face here, Huyuan Video 1.5. And there are different folders here. Under diffusion models, you will find the, all the models from 1080p to 720p. If you look at this here, most of them are over 8 gig. So uh, I've downloaded one 480 I2V FP8, this one. And I have also tried a GGUF model with 720p this year i downloaded the version q80 it takes quite long to generate a 720p video so depend how long you want to generate you can try a little bit larger and you can also find the lora here unfortunately there's only one lora for of 480p. So let's go to Comfy UI and make sure you have updated your Comfy UI. This is my downloaded workflow. And you will also find download links for the models here. Now let me select my model here. I'm going to use this one image to video 480p. And here, this is the text encoder. It's already selected. I downloaded and VAE. Okay, that's correct. This is also downloaded Clipvision patch here. It is running on 24 frames per second. What I need to do is I need to add a LoRa here as well. Uh, load the model only and put it through here get it to the model here and select my LoRa I've downloaded I just want to show you compared to when 2.2 image to video so I'm going to use the image this one is the one I have used before and the prompt it is a very simple prompt the man is surprised by someone and point to the camera and they start laughing. And now I just want to make sure it's matching my older generation. So then we can compare. It's 512 times 512. And I'd want to get random seed here. And before I run it, I just want to show you what is the one generated with one 2.2. So this is how it's supposed to look like. The man is pointing to the camera and they start laughing. Okay, I need to change something as well. This will take too long, so let's change to four step. You can also find some information here. I'm not actually following this here. I'm showing those value which I have tested before. So let's run it now and see how it goes. Let's check the quality first. So let's run that. Okay, that's terrible. What have I done wrong? Okay, I just noticed I forgot to put the shift value to five. This is what I have used for my previous test. And the most important thing is the CFG has to set to one because I'm running with four steps only. And now try my luck again. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look how long it took. 208 seconds. I have also changed the duration to be fair to compare with my old video because my one has only four second duration and this one I changed it to uh, 97 frames so it's four seconds duration and let's check the results here 
Okay, now it's much better, but as you can see at the end, it start getting blurry and fading the color. So what I can change is I can change this to 0 0.7 and show you the result here. Let's run it again. Okay, it's done. And it took a little bit longer, 235 seconds. Let's check the results. Okay, it seems this is not that blurry. So I just want to show you that you can play around with the value. At the moment, I still think uh, when 2.2 is better. So this is when 2.2. And it only took uh, 168 seconds. Of course, to be fair, this one is only 16 frames per second. And the last thing I want to show you is just bypass the LoRa. LoRa here. Of course, we need to increase the steps. Based on this here, you really need 50 steps, but I don't want to run for that long. I want to show you what I have tried before. I tried 15 and run it again. Okay, it's done now. Let's have a look at the time. 437 seconds is not too bad, less than 10 minutes. Let's check the results. Okay, the quality is not bad, but somehow he's not pointing to the camera, it's pointing to her. <laughs> anyway, I'm still happy with the result. Okay, I don't think I can tell which one is better, but in my use case, I prefer one 2.2 because I prefer to generate lower quality and I can run many times and pick the best in the motion rather than just have good quality and have to wait for long. It really depends. If you need high quality, here you can choose a lot of models. And even for 8 gig, I already tried it with GGUF 720p. It works well, but it just takes too long for me to wait. If you have time and you want high quality, 720p GGUF works on 8 gig of VRAM. It's always good to have different options and I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. There, there are more videos to watch or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video.